Planning a trip to Rome? Hold on a minute. Let's discuss 10 things you shouldn't do in Rome. This amazing city is brimming with culture, history, and art, but it's essential to be aware of certain things to fully appreciate your visit. From dining spots to etiquette, we've got you covered. This video will walk you through some must-know tips, helping you avoid common tourist pitfalls. Make sure you keep these points in mind when you visit Rome. Firstly, avoid eating near major tourist sites. While the idea of dining within a stone's throw of the Colosseum or the Trevi Fountain might sound appealing, these areas are often rife with overpriced eateries that cater to the tourist palate rather than offering an authentic Italian experience. You'll find that a little exploration off the beaten path can lead you to local spots where the food is not only more affordable, but also significantly more delicious. So, remember to explore a bit and find a local spot to eat. Secondly, don't ignore pedestrian signals. You see, Rome is a bustling city with its own rhythm of life, and traffic rules are a significant part of that melody. Ignoring pedestrian signals not only disrupts the rhythm, but it can also lead to accidents, not to mention hefty fines. Whether you're in a hurry to see the next attraction or just casually strolling, remember that these signals are there for your safety. So, always pay attention to pedestrian signals. Thirdly, avoid visiting Rome in the peak summer. Imagine the eternal city, brimming with tourists, the sun blazing and the heat bouncing off the ancient cobblestones. Not the most comfortable, right? The city becomes a hot, overcrowded furnace, making sightseeing an arduous task rather than an enjoyable experience. So, if you want to explore Rome at a leisurely pace, without having to elbow your way through the crowds, plan your trip during the off-peak season for a more comfortable experience. Fourthly, avoid wearing flip-flops. Rome's charm lies in its ancient cobblestone streets and trust me, flip-flops are not your friends here. They're a recipe for a twisted ankle or worse. Plus, you'll be doing a lot of walking, exploring the city's rich history and culture. Flip-flops just aren't cut out for that kind of journey. Do your feet a favor and pack a pair of comfortable walking shoes. They'll be your trusty companions as you navigate the eternal city. Pack comfortable walking shoes instead. Fifthly, don't use unlicensed taxis. It might seem like a quick and easy way to get around, but beware of the potential dangers. These unregulated rides can often lead to overcharging, with drivers demanding exorbitant fares once you reach your destination. Beyond the financial risk, there are safety concerns as well. Without the oversight that comes with licensing, there's no guarantee of a safe, reliable ride. So, when in Rome, play it safe. Always use licensed taxis or public transportation. Sixthly, don't overpack. Rome, with its centuries-old cobblestone streets and countless stairs, is not kind to the overpacked traveler. Lugging around a heavy suitcase can turn a delightful day of sightseeing into a strenuous workout. Not to mention, it's harder to navigate through bustling crowds and narrow alleyways with a bulky bag. So, remember, when packing for Rome, less is definitely more. Embrace the mantra of essentials only. Pack light and only bring essentials. Seventhly, avoid being loud. It's essential to respect the local customs and the peace of others around you. Rome is a vibrant city, yet its citizens appreciate a certain level of tranquility. Being excessively loud not only disturbs this tranquility, but can also be seen as disrespectful. This includes talking loudly, playing loud music, or making any other intrusive noise. Let's respect the cultural norms and maintain a harmonious environment for everyone. Remember, when in Rome, do as the Romans do. Eighthly, don't forget to validate your ticket. In Rome, it's crucial to validate your public transportation ticket, whether you're boarding a bus, tram, or metro. Look for that little yellow box near the entrance, slide your ticket in, and listen for the satisfying stamping sound. If you overlook this step, you might face a hefty fine, even if you've bought your ticket fair and square. It's a simple habit that can save you a lot of trouble. Always remember to validate your ticket before boarding. Ninthly, avoid flashy jewelry. While Rome is a city of grandeur and opulence, it's not the place to flaunt your diamonds and pearls. Wearing flashy jewelry can attract the unwanted attention of pickpockets, who are known to frequent crowded tourist spots. Don't give them a reason to make you their next target. Stick to simple, understated accessories or better yet, wear no jewelry at all. Remember, safety should always be your top priority when traveling. It's best to leave your valuable jewelry at home. Lastly, don't expect to see everything in one day. Rome is a city steeped in history, culture, and art. It's impossible to absorb it all in a single day. Instead, plan a realistic itinerary, prioritize the sites you want to visit most, and take your time to fully appreciate each one. 
Rushing from one attraction to another will only leave you exhausted and overwhelmed. Instead, savor the experience. Remember, Rome wasn't built in a day, and you can't see it all in one either. So there you have it. 10 things you shouldn't do in Rome. From avoiding eateries near tourist hotspots to respecting pedestrian signals, steering clear of peak summer visits and ditching flip-flops, remember to choose licensed taxis, pack light, keep the noise down, validate your tickets, and leave the flashy jewelry at home. And finally, don't try to cram all of Rome's wonders into a single day. Keep these points in mind when you visit Rome. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. Enjoy your trip to Rome.